Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I am your host Geekman and today we're going to learn how to create a denim texture in Photoshop from scratch. Now a couple of assumptions I need to get out of the way right off the bat. Number one, I'm using Photoshop CC 2018. So if you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, some of the effects may not work as expected. Second, I'm using Windows. So if you're using a Mac, when I say hit the control key on the keyboard, that's the command key. And when I say hit the alt key on the keyboard, that's the option key. Now before we really begin, let me say that at first I'm going to show you a quick uh, but not very realistic, in my opinion, way of creating denim. Uh, that's basically just one layer, and you put on a pattern, and it's done. And then I'll show you another way where you can build it from scratch that I think looks a lot more realistic, and uh, to me, at least, works better, even though it's a, f a little bit more involved, but still fairly quick and easy. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's begin by hitting Control N on the keyboard to bring up the new image dialog box, and we will name this Denim Old Way because I'm gonna show you the old way first. So our width is gonna be 3,840 pixels, height of 2,160 pixels, resolution is 150 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color 8-bit, uh, background contents, it doesn't make a difference, we're gonna be uh, not using that anyway, color profile is uh, sRGB, and pixel aspect ratio is square pixels. So let's hit create, and we now have our background, and this color does not matter at this point, let's just hit alt and backspace, or control and backspace, fill it with whatever color you want, it does not matter. Uh, and all we're going to do really is unlock this background layer by clicking on the little lock icon there. Go down to our uh, layer styles and we're gonna go to pattern overlay. Okay, and that is really all that you need to do. You gotta go to blend mode normal, opacity of 100%. Okay, on the pattern itself, you just wanna click on the little arrow. And if you don't see these, all you have to do is go to the sprocket, scroll down until you see patterns two, click on that, hit okay to replace your patterns with the new patterns, and then select this guy, which is helpfully named denim. Okay, once you have done that, you wanna scale it up to 400% because our image is much larger than the original uh, 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 pattern was. Uh, link with layer can be checked, doesn't matter. Hit OK, and there you have it. Now let me make this full size so that you can actually see. And um, that's a denim pattern, I guess, and it's a quick and easy way to create a denim pattern. But as you can see, it is a repeating pattern that is obviously repeating. Uh, there's no real variation to this. It's just a repeating pattern. So that's a quick and easy way to make uh, a denim-ish look uh, for your images, but there is a better way. Now let me show you how that works by going back to my move tool here, and then what we'll do is we'll, cr we'll create a brand new uh, image. So let's hit Control N for a new uh, image here, and let's make, uh, let's name this uh, Denim New Way because that's what we're gonna do here. Width and height stay the same, 3,840 pixels by 2,160. Resolution is the same at 150. RGB color mode, 8-bit, and this is where the background actually matters. We'll come right back to that. Uh, color profile is sRGB, and pixel aspect ratio is square pixels. So our background color, which is background contents, we're gonna click on the little color there, and we're gonna make it this color, which is 2B4673, which is a nice denim blue. Okay, and we're gonna hit create and we now have our nice denim looking blue background. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is make sure that your foreground and background are the default black and white. And you can do that by hitting D on the keyboard or by clicking on this little black and white icon over here like so. Uh, and that will set your foreground and background to black and white. Next thing that you need to do is create a new layer above our background layer. So let's just click on new layer icon, there it is. And then we wanna fill that with white. So let's hit control and backspace to fill with white, okay? Next thing that we need to do is we gotta go to filter, filter gallery, and then you wanna find in here under sketch halftone pattern. And then you wanna set the halftone pattern at three, contrast one, pattern type dot, and you'll get this 
uh, eye strain inducing image here. And that's what we're looking for. You're going to hit OK and you now have that all over your image. The next thing that we need to do is uh, we need to give this a little bit of uh, kind of uh, smudge to it because uh, we want we want to induce some kind of, of texture to this. So we're going to go up here to filter, we're going to go to noise, we're going to go to add noise and what you want is an amount of 30, okay, Gaussian and monochromatic. Once all that's done, hit OK, and you can see that we've introduced what looks like dirt. There are parts like this part right here that looks like a clump, and then there's whiter parts, and, and we're looking for that here. The next thing that we need to do is we want to give this that kind of uh, denim lines to it that are usually at like a 45 degree angle or something like that. So we're going to go up here to filter. We're going to go to blur. We're going to go to motion blur. And we're going to make a 45 degree angle distance of only 13 pixels. And we're going to hit OK. And as you can see, it's starting to look more like denim. OK, the last thing that we need to do with this particular layer is we've got to set this layer mode to overlay so that we can see the blue color through it. So go up here to normal here. You want to set this to overlay. And now we're, we've got something that looks very much like jeans. OK, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer on top of this. Now, before I go any further, let's let's start renaming these. Let's name this as color. OK, the bottom one here is color. This one over here will be texture. Right. And this one up here will be let's do uh, dirt. OK, so now we've got color, we've got texture, and now what we'll do is we'll add on some dirt. OK, now we can fill this uh, layer, this new layer that has nothing in it. We're going to fill that with any color. Again, it doesn't matter what the color is that we put in there. OK, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to render some fibers on this. So we're going to go up here to filter. We're going to go down to render, and then we're going to go to fibers. OK, and here are fibers. Now our variance here is going to be at 15 and our strength down here will be at 5 like so. And uh, you can zoom out on this just so that you can see it a little bit better and give yourselves an idea as to what it's going to look like. You can see it's it's just fibers. It looks like it's streaky dirt. OK, and uh, if you don't like what you see right here, you can just hit randomize a few times until you see something that you like. Uh, that looks fine to me. It all looks good. Hit OK and you've got your fibers on here, right? And then what we want to do is we need to set this layer to uh, a, a different kind of uh, layer mode and some opacity changes. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, there's one special little thing that we're going to do here. So we're going to go down here to our layer styles and we're going to go to blending options. OK, and that will give us a few more options rather than just our normal layer mode and layer opacity. OK, we've got our, our blend mode up here and we want to set our blend mode here to hard light. OK, like so. OK, and uh, what we want to do is change the opacity here to just something very low, like 12, let's say. And you can see it's already looking very cool down there. However, it's as you can see, it's it's very, you know, dark and light. You can see it very clearly. And that's not what we're looking for. So what we're going to do here is going right down here to the blend if gray and over here on underlying layer. And we want to play around with this a little bit. OK, so the way that this works is if I pull this up, you can see that the the darker parts start to disappear, but it's it's a quick disappear, right? They, you, you go up a little bit and boom, they're gone. Uh, and the same thing over on the right hand side. If you do this, the white parts start to disappear. So we want it to change, but we don't want it to change like that. We want them to blend together. And the way that you can do that is you see here on these little nubs, you've got a little line going through it right here up and down. Uh, well, that means that you can split this nub to make the, the, uh, the, the fade blend a little bit better. OK, so the way that you do that is you hold down Alt on the keyboard and then you click once on it and you can see it has split. And then you can grab one part of the nub and move it. And you can see things start to change and not as harshly, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to move this. Uh, down to 70, let's say. Uh, I did some experimenting. And we're going to make this down here about 70-ish. Whoops, it got together here. We're going to split that back up and move one half. So you've got uh, 70, let's see, right here, and 255. OK, and on the the, uh, the dark side here, we're going to hold down all click once, and then we're going to grab this handle, and we're going to move it up until it's at 165, like so. And you can see the difference right here. 
Uh, and that's all that you have to do. Now you can play around with this to make it uh, however you want it to look. Uh, but for me, to my eye, this looks like jeans that have seen a little bit of action but are still clean, okay? And uh, if I zoom in fully, all the way in, you can see this looks like jeans. It's got contrast, it's got some dirt, uh, as if you, or, or at least some streaks in it as if it has been worn and has gotten some wrinkles or some, some, uh, some use out of it, uh, as opposed to the old way of doing it, which looks like this. So there you have it. This is how you can create uh, a fairly quick and easy uh, denim texture from scratch in Photoshop. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. I do new tutorials every Tuesday. And once again, this is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.